Hey everyone, Todd Lovell from the Vine of Northwest Arkansas. I am here with my daughter, Nora. Hello. And we are getting ready for a gingerbread house challenge. So we have two gingerbread houses here. Nora is gonna have one, I'm gonna have the other. We're gonna roll a die to figure out uh, which one of these we get. Nora's an excellent chef. I love to eat, so uh, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. direct from Walmart. I think these are Walmart exclusives and we have a die here with a red side, a blue side, a yellow side. Nora, you're blue. I'm red. Yellow is roll again. Whoever wins the roll gets to choose which house they want. The houses are a little different so they get to choose. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what happens here. Yellow, roll again. <laughs> yellow, roll again. This is going to be a really long video. Blue! Nora gets to choose, Nora. What is the house that you will choose? What is your favorite house? This one. All right, so this is the house that Nora chooses. It's a little bit of a smaller house, right? Nora, do you have any uh, any reason why you, you chose this house? Um, it's less... Less to decorate? Yes, less decorations, and the decorations look pretty simple. Okay, so here we go. The competition begins in three, two, one, go! Yeah! Okay, so the first thing I think whenever I open up my box is my house is a little bit bigger. Um, and that might be a detriment because there's a little bit more to decorate, but I'm actually gonna use it to my advantage. I have the, uh, the, the doggies uh, hanging up on the window, looking down upon me, giving me their blessing, and so I'm thankful for that. Um, but I'm also gonna use the bigger house to my advantage because I'm gonna do a lot more decoration, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna inch this one out. So once I open my box up, my house is a little bit smaller. But that kind of gives me an advantage because the smaller, you can do more detail. So if I do more detail, I actually have a chance to win this thing. Okay, so I just opened my bo box and uh, what did I find? But I have two broken candy canes and I did not get a package of fondant in my box. So I might be at a pretty significant disadvantage in this challenge. All right, I've just opened my box and I have fondant. Fondant is not my friend. Oh, oh no. That's coming up the top. <laughs> I gotta do the fondant back there. Ah! Okay, uh, so I'm looking at what Nora's doing and she's like light years ahead of me. I'm kind of panicking right now. Uh, but I have a special tool that I'm going to use. I'm actually going to bring her little brothers in and let them distract her. That way, maybe while she's distracted, I can get a leg up on the competition. Okay, so I'm finishing up my house, but I'm looking at what Nora's doing, and I feel like the competition's just way too close right now, so I need a secret weapon. Uh, so I went to our pantry and I pulled out a secret ingredient, uh, Christmas pork rinds, okay? They may not be, they may not say Christmas on the uh, container, but it's definitely Christmas pork rinds. I'm gonna put them on my gingerbread house, and the pork rinds combined with all the other flavors, I think will create an incredibly unctuous experience and will uh, set me above the competition.
now have uh, the choice to vote on that. So down in the comments of this video, either put an N for Nora or a T for Todd. Whatever your vote is, put an N for Nora, T for Todd, whichever house you think is the most creative, the most encapsulates the spirit of Christmas. And uh, we'll post a winner later on uh, here in a couple of days. But thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.